Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. I want to show you a flip through of one of my recently finished journals. This is another daily journal that I finished, like daily inspiration, self-care journal. I already have a whole playlist about this kind of journals. I already finished quite a few this year and there are a few flip throughs of previous journals and also journal with me videos. Uh, so I will leave a link in the description to those videos if you would like to see some of the previous journals. And it's basically a journals where I collect different good daily moments of the day, like different daily ephemera if I got something like from packages or happy mail and also just write down some good daily moments, some inspiring quotes that I came across somewhere on Instagram or anywhere else. So it's basically like a mix, mix of different things. And I finished a few inserts this year, like different sizes and different formats. Uh, I like to switch from time to time to different format, different size. and. Um, this one, this particular insert I had from September until until like mid-November, around mid-November. So now I will show you all the pages in this journal. Um, this is a cover page, pages, and yeah, here I just put some stickers with the months, September, October and November, and yeah. Uh, I started this in the end of September because my previous daily journal ended sometime like few days before the end of the month, but I don't really split these journals like monthly or quarterly or anything like that. Just basically when journal is finished, then it's finished, then it's time to finish it and time to start a new one and for me personally any time of the month is a good time to start a new daily journal so I don't really split them by months. I think in the beginning I tried to do this uh, in the beginning of this year but then I realized that it's kind of too stressful to try to finish this uh, journal until end of the month or end of the quarter or something like that. And I think it's just an unnecessary stress, so I just let myself to journal here as often as I want to and just finish it when it's time to finish and it doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the month. So yeah, I collect here different things that inspire me, different things from packages, from happy mail, from friends, from letters, some pictures and stuff like that. And also write, write down very often some inspiring quotes that I liked, some daily reminders uh, for myself, some self-care reminders and just add here all different things that, that I like. I also started to do this kind of spreads in the end of each month and I started this in September. Basically I just printed all my favorite photos of the month and put them uh, together in one spread, just basically arranged them and there are hardly any decorations, just a few stickers and this September calendar and that's all. Mostly just um, some of my favorite photos. This is basically my favorite moments of each month and I really liked this. And I did it in October again and I'm going to do it in November as well. And I think I will continue it and next year I will start to do it kind of like a bit separately, maybe not in the middle of the journal, but somewhere else that basically in the end of the year I haven't full overview of the year with all these favorite photos of the year and that they they are all together in one place but um, this year I started to do this only in September and I don't really want to go back and kind of to do it for every month so I will continue with this until end of the year just basically uh, in my daily journal and yeah it's okay also to have it in the middle of the journal 
I also have here many different things from stationary packages that I got, some orders that I received, like for example, uh, on this day I received a few orders, um, one from Cafe Analog, my favorite stationery shop, also a book from the broken binding and a few more things, so I like to include all those things in this journal, some parts of packaging, thank you notes, business cards and stuff like that and I like to decorate it with many stickers mostly some cute nature and animal stickers because that's something that brings me joy something that I really like also like to include some food packaging mainly it's chocolate or some sweets and stuff like that Also some uh, business cards and different kind of packaging. This, uh, for, ex for example, this spread, it was when I got um, new Traveler's Company diaries for 2024, new inserts, like weekly and monthly inserts. So I just used here some parts of the packaging and decorated it a bit Also really like to include this calendar, this uh, tier of tier away calendar that I have on my desk uh, for marking dates. And sometimes I use a full sheet like this and make something like this with it. Sometimes just some parts of it. And as you can see on one page, sometimes I have a few days. Sometimes whole spread dedicated just to one day or one thing, like also this one. This is mainly, I think, mainly packaging from an order from cute things from Japan that I received. A thank you note and different packaging pieces from that order. But sometimes I also have a few days on, on one page. So... Basically, there are no rules uh, in this journal. I just add here pretty much everything daily things. And I started this kind of journals in the beginning of this year, or I think kind of in the end of the last year a bit. And I really like it. I really like to have a place where I can include all this daily stuff, uh, different ephemera and also write down some things about the day or just some quotes that I liked, put all that packaging that I save from different things, put it in the journal and like have it in one place and that's basically like a, like a diary. And it's really interesting to go back and see also the previous journals because they are all different sizes, different formats and uh, it's interesting to go back and see that. Here is this October recap spread with my favorite photos of October and they look kind of similar also some minimal decorations, just a month here and a few small stickers, but mainly it's just photos, some favorite moments of the month. And I don't really remember where I saw this idea. I saw a layout like this with photos in someone's journal, but it was a travel journal, I think, like kind of a favorite photos, favorite moments uh, of the trip uh, on one spread like this, something very similar to this. And I think that that was the spread that inspired me to create some kind of monthly recap spread uh, with just with photos, basically my months in photos. Yeah, and this is already November. Some a few pages of November. I think it's like first week and half uh, of November. 
that I have here and I already started a new daily journal and yeah here's another order from Cafe Analog that I got already in November. Also some stickers, some sticker order from my favorite Ukrainian sticker shop from my home country. Yeah, and this is the last one. So the last day here is 12th of November. And I already started a new daily journal, um, but for my new daily journal I used this uh, short trip refill from Traveler's Company, uh, the one that has only 32 pages. Uh, because I'm going to do a December, December daily journal, so in December I will have a separate journal for daily journaling, so I decided that I would like to finish November in one separate insert and then have another one for December, like only for December. And so I started this, uh, this short trip insert, which has not that many pages, so I think it should be enough uh, until end of November. And I already made here a few pages, so this one starts from 13th of November. And yeah, I think it should be enough until end of November. I will easily finish it and then I can start, and then I can start a new a new journal in December. I haven't decorated the cover yet. I usually like to decorate the cover in, in the process, like sometimes just add a few small things to, to the cover and then finish it in the end maybe. Uh, so I uh, usually with my daily journals I don't decorate a cover in advance. And I think in the end of the year I probably will go through all these daily journals and maybe add uh, something else to the covers which basically will help me to organize them better because like here I have a sticker and that it's 2023 and also inside I have um, all the months that um, are in this journal September, October and November but I think I also will add something to all the covers of all these uh, daily journals from 2023 that will help me to organize them better and find a journal that I need easier, um, that there is something that indicates that this, um, this journal is, I don't know, volume 1 of 2023, volume 2, volume 3 or something like this. I don't know yet how exactly I'm going to do that, but I think I will do it in the end of the year and we'll put all them together and we'll store all them together that I have um, easy access to them when, when I want to go back and um, flip through these journals because I like to do that sometimes. I always go back to pretty much all my journals and sometimes like to uh, flip through some particular journals, very often travel journals, but also other journals as well. So I think I need some kind of better system how to uh, organize them that I can easily find a journal that I need uh, because I'm going to continue next year with this kind of journals, definitely. I really like it at the moment. I'm not going to say that I will do this until the end of my life because uh, I know myself and sometimes I'm just getting tired from kind of doing the same and maybe uh, in a while I will switch to something else, to some other kind of journals and will stop to do this but at the moment I really like it and I would like to continue with it so there would definitely will be more of these daily journals and I think I need some need to find a way how to organize them uh, better because uh, now I have all my finished journals of 2023 in one box. I have some kind of wooden storage box and I put there all the journals that I finished this year but um, I don't know in the end of the year I would have to figure out how to organize them 
yeah, but I think that's all for this video. I hope you liked this flip through of another finished daily journal and maybe it gave you some inspiration for your own journals. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!